Welcome back to Minutes of Horror News. We really have to get into this one because first, they were creating lab-created diseases. And then, they wanted to create lab-created meat. Because they really want to get rid of the cows and other farm life. Because apparently, all of a sudden, cows are bad for the environment. And I guess natural born humans are next on the chopping block because scientists are now growing human embryos without the sperm or the egg. But according to this article, they are not creating humans. They are creating an entity that closely resembles an early human embryo. Get that keyword, an entity. This is why I said you have to be updated on how words change and how they use their keywords. Just like in the Burning Man video when that man said they lost a couple people. And I said, well, a couple can mean anything. It no longer means two. Even if you look it up in the dictionary now, it has a new meaning. Yes, it used to mean two, but now it means anything above two. So they can really play with these words to trick and confuse us. This is why when I see the word entity used in an article like this, it's actually pretty terrifying because the word entity can pretty much mean anything. It can be a human, it can be an alien, it can be a demon, it can be their god. It could be how they introduce the Antichrist for Project Bluebeam. Now, the next sentence says, the Wiseman Institute team say their embryo model made using stem cells looks exactly like a textbook example of a real 14 day old embryo. So here's my biggest question. Where exactly are they getting these stem cells? If they want to replicate and duplicate a human embryo, then I doubt they're using animals, which I'm sure they have done before. Just like with that sheep dolly, that was the first example of a classic cloning psyop. Are they getting these stem cells from aborted babies or maybe perhaps, like the article says, other entities? It even released hormones that turned a pregnancy test positive in the lab. So this thing is a real being. The ambition for the embryo models is to provide an ethical way of understanding the earliest moments of our lives. And where have we heard that before? We've heard this with CERN, that they're using the Large Hadron Collider to find the earliest existence of our universe, to find the earliest particle, the God particle. But I think we all know what the Large Hadron Collider is really being used for. To merge realities, to open portals, to bring their demons over. But lucky for us, USA Today and other big media have told us scientists at CERN are not opening a portal to hell. Because I guess when they went there and asked them this question, they were expecting the scientists to say, hey yes, we're opening a portal to hell. But since they told them they weren't, it was fact checked that this was false. I mean, I can go on and on about the Large Hadron Collider and the many evils behind it, but I just find it funny they're using the same lingo that they use with the Large Hadron Collider that they're using here with their lab-born entity. Now, one can look at this and see this as proof that they have been cloning humans, which has always been a conspiracy theory for some odd reason, but they have admitted to actually having this technology being able to clone humans since the 60s back when they were cloning lizards like salamanders, and scientists speculated that the cloning of humans might be in reach, and it was only a matter of time they had the technology. It was only in its infancy, but they indeed had it. And they had this technology within their grasp all the way back in the 60s, over 60 years ago. And you mean to tell me it took them 60 years to now finally be able to clone humans? So I don't believe what they're showing us in this article is brand new information. So I don't think this article is telling us that they're cloning and replicating humans, something we already knew they were doing with a lot of these celebrities. So then if this is not about cloning humans, then what exactly are they doing? Because all you have to do is read a little bit further in the article. About 1% of the mixture began the journey of spontaneously assembling themselves into a structure that resembles but is not identical to a human embryo. They continue to say they are not normal human embryos. They're embryo models, but they're very close to them. Now, whatever they're using to build these entities, I have yet to see the word animal pop up in this article. 
The reason why they keep using the word model is because they know that the public knows there could be some legality issues here cloning humans or creating human embryos. So they have to keep saying the word model. These are nothing more than test dummies. You have to read the fine print because it even states here, the work raised the question of ethics of whether embryo development could be mimicked past the 14 day stage. And then they go ahead and say, this would not be illegal even in the United Kingdom as embryo models are legally distinct from embryos. So basically what they're saying is, is that they have a living entity, a living being that closely resembles a human, but is not a human. And we're not using the word animal, but we're not going to get in any trouble creating this because we're going to call it a test dummy. The article finishes by saying the work has for the first time achieved a faithful construction of the complete structure of a human embryo from stem cells in the lab, thus opening the door, opening a portal for studies of the events that lead to the formation of the human body plan. The researchers stress it would be unethical, illegal, and actually impossible to achieve a pregnancy using these embryo models. Assembling the 120 cells together goes beyond the point an embryo could successfully implant into the lining of a womb. Even though they told us in the beginning of the article that whatever this is tested positive on a pregnancy test. So you might be saying to yourself, this is perfect. This can be used for women who can't get pregnant, who want children that don't want to adopt, but now finally they can have their own children created and how they want to create them. But this is not what this is about. You have to read the fine print. They are not going to be sticking this inside your womb. Even though this shows up in a pregnancy test, they will not allow this thing to be created by a natural human. Now, other than shoving this up their ass where they should put it, I do believe they're going to put it inside AI. They're going to put it inside an artificial intelligence being, and they are going to give birth to whatever this is. And it's going to have all the knowledge and power of AI, except it's going to look almost like a human, have it look as realistic as possible. And they will play this off as the antichrist. This will go hand in hand with project Bluebeam. Even Jordy Rose, the founder of D wave, the founder of quantum computers and who goes hand in hand with AI and artificial intelligence said they are bringing demons over. He has used the word demons over and over and over again. Like when you do this, beware because you think just like the guy in the stories that when you do this, you're going to put that, that, that little guy in a pentagram and you're going to have your holy water out and you're going to wave it at the thing and by God it's going to do exactly what you say and not one thing more, but it never works out that way. So uh, this, is an, this is an attitude that some are having, this emerging alarmism about the way this is going to go. But this, these words, demons, doesn't capture the essence of what's happening here. Uh, I don't know if any of you are uh, turn of the century weird fiction fans, but there's this guy named H.P. Lovecraft, who's a very famous American weird fiction author. And he exposed a, a view which is called cosmicism. And the essence of cosmicism is cosmic indifference. So he, what he was saying is basically, yes, there are these massively intelligent entities out there, but they're not good, they're not evil. They just don't give a shit about you even in the slightest. The same way that you don't care about an ant is the same way they're not going to care about you. And these things that we're summoning into the world now are not demons, they're not evil, but they're more like the Lovecraftian great old ones. There are entities that are not necessarily going to be aligned with what we want. So this transition is really, really massively important for our entire species to navigate and going back to that thing that Sam Harris was saying, nobody is paying attention. This thing is happening in the background while people bicker about politics and what, what's going to be in the health care plan in the U.S. And underneath it all is this rising tsunami that, if we're not careful, is going to wipe us all out.
So if you think this is about cloning humans, think again. They already had those capabilities years ago. This is about bringing something new into the world, something much more powerful and something far more evil. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please like, as any engagement does help the channel grow. Once again, thank you so much for your support.